Hey guys, me again. And I have a new book, a brand new book. I ordered it for you guys and for my two. And it's called The Ultimate Survival Guide to Monsters Under the Bed. <gasps> now we're all a bit afraid of monsters under the bed. But this book here, it's going to help you. It is. So sit comfortable. Are you sitting comfortable? Yeah? Well, good. This book is written by Mitch Frost. And it's illustrated by Darren Parton. Now, I read books, especially for my twins, and I read books for our friends at Wisbeach St Mary Preschool, so they can hear it, and I read books now for the Wisbeach Lion Club. How cool is that? But I read it to you too, and I like you to experience books too, because books are fun. So shall I read this book? Yeah? Do you want me to get on? What now? Or in a minute. No, I'll do it now. Okay. The Ultimate Survival Guide to Monsters Under the Bed. <clears throat> you excited? I am. Right. At the Good Night Laboratory, we take monsters under the bed problem very seriously. How seriously? Just look at all those bubbling test tubes, blinking machines, and the person holding the world's best scientist mug. <gasps> That's serious. <gasps> How cool is that? I would like to go there. Using only the best and most serious science, we have now developed... The ultimate survival guide to monsters under the bed. But, does it work? We'll have to see, won't we? Our labs have tested those techniques on all types of monsters, including round monsters, square monsters, flat monsters, hungry monsters, blue monsters, and even carrot monsters. I bet they can see in the dark. Trust us, by following these steps, you will get rid of all monsters all the time. Guaranteed. That's a book step. Step one. Always tidy up your room before bed. Why? Have you ever seen a monster in a clean room? Nope. Of course not. There is nowhere to hide. Clean room equals no monsters. No monsters, clean room. Step two. Remember to brush your teeth before bed. Monsters are disgusted by minty fresh teeth. It reminds them too much of the dentist. Ooh. Step three. Forget about dancing robots, monsters. They don't exist. They don't. Look at this monster. Boils, rotten teeth, last night's tea, fleas. B.O. Fart. <laughs> Stinky feet. Step four. Check to make sure your house has lots of soap. It does. You are in luck. Our research shows that 99% of smelly monsters hate houses with soap in them. Nothing ruins a monster's day more than falling into a big soapy bubbly bath. Splash! Step five. Before you go to sleep. Invite all your toys for a sleepover. Our research shows monsters hate big crowds. No monster will ever dare visit with so many friends around. You're just too protected with all your friends, aren't you? Step six. 
Ignore all those hairy monsters. They spend all night styling their hair in front of the mirror. Silly sausages. Step seven. If you get scared during the night, whisper a silly joke. If there's a monster around, it will roll around laughing. To go and go and tell its monster pals. What can I say? Monsters love a good joke. One of our absolute favourites is... Where do monsters go to get their haircuts? A scared dresser! <laughs> Step eight. If you run out of jokes, pretend you're a snake. Monsters are terribly scared of slivery things. Just one hiss. From you... And they will be out the door. Wiggling snake movements works just as well. Spop. Step nine. Never worry about monsters shaped like donuts. They're more worried that you'll eat them. I would. I'd eat the donut. <laughs> Step ten. Get rid of those bed socks. You don't need them. You are totally safe sleeping with your feet out. Why? Why do you think? Mm. Because you should never, ever be afraid of monsters grabbing your ankles. Their weak arms are only good for wiping their noses. Hmm. Assuming that they have arms or noses. silly monsters. Bonus! This book is equipped with our latest invention, the Safe 5000. Just close this book to instantly create a super sticky anti-monster force field around your entire home. No batteries required. If you follow any of these steps, congratulations! You can sleep peacefully knowing that your room is now mon a monster-free zone. Oh, and the, here's the best part. We are pleased to announce that, they, that these steps now work on cupboard monsters too. <gasps> Did you feel it? Did you feel the protection come around your house? I felt mine. And if I look really closely outside, I can see it. <gasps> can you see yours? Go check. Right. That's that book done. I will see you soon.